Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome all to the fourth lecture of your general English language um, course. So in today's lecture, we'll be doing some grammar, uh, some vocabulary, and uh, some reading. And this is all taken from chapter three as well. So the elements of the lecture. So today we'll talk about three things. Number one, we'll explain the grammatical rule for do, which consists of three characters, do, did, and done. Also, we'll be talking about prepositions, specifically about the preposition at, on, and in. Uh, and the third thing that we'll be uh, talking about today is about vocabulary previewing. So, uh, let's move to the grammatical rule for do. Now, do has how many characters? It has what? Four characters. It's usually three because do sometimes it's basically do itself, so what's left is these three characters. So, شخصية الدو لها عادة كم شخصية هذه الشخصيات الموجودة. فعندنا do, does, did, done, و doing. إذا كنت تذكرون يا أخوان يا أخوات ذكرنا بأن جميع الجمل في اللغة الإنجليزية تعتبر جمل فعليات كل فعل لا بد أن تحتوي على فعل طيب sometimes you might wonder بعض الأحيان تتساءلون إن طيب متى أستخدم is أو أو are أو am ومتى أستخدم do أو does أو did أو doing إلى آخره نستخدم شخصيات ال be اللي هي ال is وال are وال am لما تكون الجملة وصفية بمعنى أن لا توجد فيها حركة لا يوجد فيها action فمثلا لما أقول أحمد is tall Okay, when I say Ahmed is tall, is there any action here? No, there isn't, right? أنا جالس أصف. فلما أقول أحمد طويل هذه جملة وصفية لا يوجد فيها أي حركة. فلما أستخدم جمل جملة وصفية أستخدم أحد شخصيات ال be. لكن لما تكون الجملة فيها حركة أستخدم ال do. مثلا أقول أحمد does his homework every day. أن أحمد يشتغل على واجبه كل يوم. does شنو ايش معناه does يعني يشتغل يتحرك يحل يمسك القلم يفتح الكتاب يحل واجب ففيها حركه لاحظوا بان احمد does his homework is different than احمد is smart or احمد is tall right احمد is tall وصفيه لا تتضمن اي حركه لكن احمد does his homework الجمله فيها حركه حل الواجب يتضمن حركه لكن احمد طويل لا توجد اي حركه اوكي فهذا هو الفرق اللي حبيت اني اوضحه لكم طيب now, these characters of do, they are used sometimes as helping verbs in order to form questions, negative, or used as sometimes as main verbs. So, when do we use do and when do we use does, did, done, or doing? We use do, okay, when the sentence is in the present and the subject is plural or you. For نستخدم الدو لما يكون موضوع الجملة جمع أو موضوع الجملة يكون يو فمثلا أو I عفوا I أو يو فمثلا لما أقول I am a student لما أبغى أن في الجملة شو أقول أقول I, 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 I do not like to work as a student okay? كذلك we for example we say uh, for example, we do our homework and so on and so forth. راح نشرح الأمثلة في التالي بالأسفل. لكن الآن خلنا فقط نتعرف على ال 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 subjects أو مواضيع الجمل التي تأتي معها كل شخص من شخصيات الدو. فإذا دو تأتي لما تكون الجملة مفردة وموضوع الجملة إما I أو you أو يكون جمع بغض النظر أن يكون مثلا students أو ضمير يكون we they إلى آخرة. طيب, when do we use does? We use does when the sentence is also present. يعني تكون الجملة في المضارع. لكن موضوع الجملة, it has to be what? Singular. يكون مفرد أو يبدأ به she أو it. Okay? مثلا, كيف إن singular subject معنى أن أحمد, ليلى, صالح, إلى آخر يعتبر أو the student يعتبر مفرد. فلما يكون موضوع الجملة مفرد والجملة في المضارع, نستخدم does. Okay, when do we use did? We use did with the plural or singular subjects. However, the sentence must be in the past. استخدم did مع لما تكون الجملة في الزمن الماضي بغض النظر عن كون موضوع الجملة مفرد أو جمع. طيب متى نستخدم done؟ نستخدم done 
بعد has have أو had فبعد أي شخصية من شخصيات ال have نستخدم done okay when do we use doing we use doing after as am are was or were so after any character of the form of the verb be we use doing okay we use doing so let's look at the examples here we do the homework every week why because we is a plural subject here as you could see with plural subjects or with we we use do number two she does the homework every week so we use does why because he or she is considered to be a singular subject so she does the homework every day number three the students did the homework last week. Now, why did we use did? Because the sentence is in the past. جملة هنا في الماضي. فلما تكون الجملة في الماضي بغض النظر عن كون موضوع الجملة اللي هنا مفرد أو جامع تكون لابد شخصية الدو تكون did. لما تكون الجملة في الماضي. Last week ماضي في الأسبوع السابق معناه. طيب number four. They are doing the homework now at the moment. So here. For example, قلنا بأننا نستخدم doing مع شنو لما تسبق شخصية الدو بأحد شخصيات ال be. So here they are doing the homework right now. لما يكون مضارع. They are doing the homework right now. فإذا أي شخصية من شخصيات ال be بغض النظر كونها في المح في الحاضر is are or am أو في الماضي was or were التي يأتي شخصية الدو التي تأتي بعدها تكون doing. So they are doing the homework now. Or we could say they were doing the homework, or he was doing the homework. Okay, it doesn't matter. Number uh, five, Selma has done the homework. So why did we use done here? Because as we said here, we use done when the do is preceded by have or has or had. Okay, so Selma has done or Selma had done. Okay, or they had done the homework, and so on and so forth. Okay, so. Now, let's try to apply what we have learned so far here. So, number one, Sultan blank his best to get full mark in the last homework. Now, the last homework is what is in the past, right? Last homework. So, should we say does or do or done or do it? We say did. Why? Because it's in the past. Number two, Fatin has blank the homework perfectly. So, after has here, what should we use? We use done. So we say, Fatin has done the homework perfectly. Number three, you will blank me favor if you tell me the answer. If you remember, we said that after will, the verb must be in its basic form. في المحاضرة السابقة يا إخوان وأخوات في المحاضرة الثالثة قلنا بأن بعد will أو أي شخصيات المودل will, must أو should الفعل التي يأتي بعدهم لابد يكون في الصورة الأساسية والصورة الأساسية من do هي شنو؟ هي الدو نفسها So we say You will do me a favor if you tell me the answer Number four He always blank the right thing He always what? Does Why? Because he is a singular Number five The students are the exercise now The students are what? Doing Why? Because we said If uh, do is preceded by any character of the form of the verb be, then uh, the character of do will be doing. Number six, the homework yesterday, it is in the past. So what should we say? We say, did you do the homework yesterday? Did you do the homework uh, yesterday? Okay, so far, uh, so good. Now, let's move to prepositions. So, we'll talk about three prepositions in this lecture. Uh, the first preposition is at, and it's user used before time, clock, and before night. So, I could say, for example, uh, I am here at 7 o'clock. I will be there at 8 o'clock, and so on and so forth, okay? So, with any hour, we use at. Okay, so at 7 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, and so on and so forth. Also, before the word night. So we say, I'll be here at night. Okay? Now, on. On is used before days. So, for example, I could say, I will be here on Saturday, or on, Monday, on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. So, with all days, we say, on. 
n. When do you use n? We use n before years. So, for example, I say, uh, I started teaching this course in 2016 or in 1992, or in 1990, or in 2000. So with all years we say, we use N. Also we use N before months. So I could say, for example, uh, we start uh, studying in September, in November, in October, in May, in June, in July, in February, in uh, August, in October, in March, in April, in May, and so on and so forth, okay? So with the months, we use N. مع الأشهر نستخدم N. With morning also, we say, I woke up in the morning, okay? With the word morning, we say N. Also with evening, for example, I could say, I have plans in the evening. So N is used with, before the word uh, evening. Also it's used with seasons. Seasons, so we have summer, spring, uh, uh, fall, uh, and winter, okay? So, for example, I could say, we start studying in September, in, sorry, in spring. Or I could say, we will study in winter, for shita. Or we will study in uh, summer, for sayf. Or we will study in fall or autumn, okay? So, with seasons, we use in. Okay? So, uh, here is a summary of all what we have said. So here we use N before what? Before months. So we say in June. Also before years. In 2000 or before decades. So in the 90s, for example, the 1990s. Decades means the period. The period is 10 years. For example, we say in the 90s. In the period of the 90s. Or in the 2000s. Okay? كذلك نستخدم ال N مع centuries. مع شنو؟ مع centuries. معناها هذا بمعنى for example in the 19th century في القرون مع القرون. In the 19th, in the 18th, in the 15th century. Okay. كذلك نستخدمها مع حقب الزمنية. Okay. For example we say in the Pleistocene era. Okay. Or in the Aflatonian era. Okay. Or in the Shakespearean era. يعني في خط في الحقبة في حقبة شكسبير أو في حقبة إلى آخره فمع الحقب نستخدم إن أوكي كذلك with expressions مع التعبير مثلا we say I will be here in a second راح أكون هنا متوفر في خلال دقيقة so we say in a in a second خلال ثانية or in a minute خلال دقيقة or in a while يعني بعد فترة أو in the morning or in the evening or in time or in the beginning أوكي and so on so forth now we use on, okay, we use on with days, for example, on March, on the 1st of March, لاحظوا هنا, الون هنا تعود على اليوم الأول, معناها هنا الواحد من شهر مارس, okay, so لما يكون عندك شهر ويكون عندك رقم جنبه بمعنى يوم, فإذا لا بد نستخدم on, مع أن احنا ذكرنا بأن معش أشهر نستخدم إن صح؟ لما يكون الشهر لوحده مثلا لما يقول in September or in March لكن لما يكتب in March يكتب March وجنبه رقم فإذا لا بنستخدم on okay? on فإذا تقرأ هذه on the first of March on the first of March يعني في اليوم الأول من شهر مارس كذلك مع الأيام قلنا so we say on Tuesday okay? uh, also we say on the dot means on exactly on time. هذا يعني يعتبر أحد التعابير نفس ال expressions لما مثلا الشخص يقول I will be in a minute. Okay. طيب or we could say on time. I could say I will be here on time. أنا راح أكون متواجد في على الوقت. So with time with the word time we say on. Also with the expression مع التعبير dot the dot we say on the dot. كذلك مع الأيام وأيام الأسبوع. طيب متى نستخدم at؟ قلنا نستخدم at مع الساعات. Okay, so example say at what at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. and so on so forth. Okay, or we say with the time of the day. فمثلا لما أقول at noon, I will be here at noon. يعني راح أكون أنا متواجد في المساء. أو in at midnight يعني في منتصف الليل. Okay, فمع الأوقات لليوم نفسه. Okay, فمساء أو في منتصف الليل نستخدم معها at كذلك نستخدم at قلنا مع الساعات 
so at 3 a.m., at 3 p.m., and so on and so forth. Also, we use at with some expressions, such as, for example, we say at the end of the week, or at the end of the day, or at the end of the month, or at the end of the year. Okay? Or we say at the beginning of the day, or at the beginning of the week, or at the beginning of the month. So basically, what you come here, Juan, هذه يعني لها علاقة بالحفظ بأن مع مثلا الاكسبريشن مع التعبير the end of the week ما نختار in لا نختار at the end of the week okay and so on so forth so now let's try to apply what we have learned so far so here what we're asked to do is to choose the correct preposition so here he goes to work 7 o'clock ها ايش الاجابه الصحيحه الاجابه الصحيحه هي at ليش؟ لأن 7 o'clock تعتبر ساعة ومع الساعة قلنا نستخدم at. Okay, number two. She was born October. So October is a month. يعتبر شهر مع الأشهر قلنا نستخدم in. So she was born in October. لو كان هنا January و February أو March أو April ما يفرق نفسه بما أنه شهر نستخدم in. Number three. The weather is hot. Should we say in summer or on summer or at summer? Well, the correct answer is in. لماذا؟ لأنه لو رجعنا بتشوفون بأن مع المواسم نستخدم إن وهنا سمر الصيف يعتبر موسم لو كان هنا مثلا the weather is hot in spring في الربيع نفس الشيء نختار إن لو كان in winter كذلك نستخدم إن لو كان in fall نستخدم إن number four students don't go to the university to the university blank Friday should we say on over at or in now Friday is what a name of a day. يعتبر أحد الأيام الأسبوع مع أيام الأسبوع قلنا نختار on. So students don't go to the university on Friday. Okay. Now the last thing that we will be talking about in today's lecture is about some vocabulary previewing. So here we have a word, and next to each word we have the definition. So the word garage. What does garage mean? It means a place to park your car. Garage is the place where you bought your car. Number two, customer. Customer is a person who buy. So customers are people who buy stuff. Profit. What does profit mean? Profit, money you earn in business. Okay? هو المال أو الأرباح. Okay? معنى profit معناها الأرباح. So money you earn in business. Number four, purchase. To purchase means to buy. Purchase هو فعل معناته يشتري. Number five, choose. To choose is to select. إنك تختار أو تختارين. Number six, search. To search is to look for something. Is to look معناه إنه يبحث. Gourmet. Gourmet is a specialist in food. Is a specialist in food. أخصائي قذائي. Alone. Separated from others, nobody with you. Okay, so now, for example, I am alone in this room. معناها أن لي واحدة أو لي واحدة. Categories, categories means classifications. Okay, means classifications. أو معنى تقسيمات. Easy is the opposite of difficult. Easy معناها بسيط والتي معناها أن معاكس لمعنى difficult الذي هو صعب. So now let's try to apply. These, what we have learned about the meaning of these words to this exercise. Number one, where is the car? It is in the, what should we say? Well, it is in the garage. Because the garage is the place where you bought your car. Number two, if you didn't find the book, you can look for it in the other room. So the underlined look for here means, what does it mean? Look for means to search. To search. Number three, English language is blank. It is not difficult. So what is the opposite of difficult? The opposite of difficult is easy. Number four, the word classification means, what does it mean? Well, it means categories. Okay? The word gourmet means does it mean a policeman, mechanic, who works in hospital, or food specialist? Well, the word gourmet means food specialist. Separated from others. The underlined phrase means 
sick, busy, happy, or alone. Well, it means alone. يعني منعزل عن الآخرين. Okay. So uh, this is the end of the fourth lecture. Um, thank you for listening. And as usual, if you have any question or any query, you could send me an email or you could contact me uh, through the mobile number of the course, which is available on the Blackboard. And I will do my best to answer your questions as quickly uh, as possible. So thank you for listening and goodbye.